One million dollars finna get it, just watch this. What's up YouTube, it's Justin Palm. I'm back another video. Today it's Christmas Eve, it's Sunday. I just got done opening my presents not too long ago. Today's video is just gonna pretty much be like a vlog. I'm gonna be showing you guys all my presents. I'm gonna be building a new scooter today. I actually might go scooter for a little bit today if I can, if it ends up drying up outside because it is a little wet right now. But yeah, I'm just gonna start showing you guys everything I got. So First thing I got is this Polar uh, Crew Neck Super Fire in black. It's got like this B on it. I think that's what it is. And then I got these Polar Big Boy Jeans in Acid Wash. These are Super Fire. I've been wanting these for a minute now. And then I got these uh, wireless microphones for the vlogs. They're actually charging right now. I'm going to use them in a little bit. But as you can see this is like what they look like and then you like open it up it's kind of like airpods they got the microphone inside and everything but next off i did get some dicky socks these are like the best socks in my opinion i love the dicky socks and then i did get a new heavy duty tripod actually super excited for this it's like nice and heavy duty this thing will not break hopefully it won't break it'll definitely last a lot longer like my tripod I have right now is just so flimsy and it's like definitely a little broken too because Dom hit it with his scooter. My friend Eric hit it with the skateboard. So it's just been through some shit from all the videos I've filmed and everything. So it's always nice to get a new tripod. And then I did get a new suitcase. Pretty hyped on this because I actually don't have my own suitcase. I would always like steal my mom's and borrow it. Next off, my sister and her boyfriend got me a new TV. Shout out to them for that. Actually super excited for this. I was not expecting a new TV at all for Christmas. So thank you, Alexandria and Preston for that. But next off, I did get like a couple candles for my mom. Nothing really crazy, but yeah, I got like three candles and I got a package right here from the vault. So I'm going to sit down over here and unbox that for you guys. All right, so I'm about to open this package from the vault and I do have my new mic on. Let me know in the comments how it does sound and if you guys do like it or not. Honestly, I'm sure it does sound way better because now the tripod is set up and then you guys can hear me way better. But let's just get into this unboxing. I did open this earlier too, by the way, like when I was opening presents with my family and I just taped it back up so I could open it for you guys. But as you can see, the box is now opened. This is what we got. First things first, got two pairs of new Ethic wheels to Ethic N-Cube wheels in blue. 12 standard 115 by 30s. These are my favorite wheels for sure. Super hyped to have the blue ones because I've been rocking the red for a while. But that's what they look like as you can see. So let's move on to the next part. So I got some Ethic Slim Grips in blue. These open so weirdly, but these are definitely my favorite grips, the Ethics Slim Grips, so good. As you can see, blue and black, I really like how these look. But you guys already probably know I'm going for like a blue and black color scheme on my next scooter I'm going to be building up today. Super excited to build that actually, I'm going to be doing that next. I got some... Hella grip. This is the uh, could be plush hella grip. This is honestly like one of my favorite hella grips. He's one of my favorite riders as well. So always got to support him. And then we got some vault stickers. They sent two sheets this time. Shout out to the vault for actually sending me stickers for once. And they did send like a magazine and some stuff like that. That's pretty sick. I'll probably take a look at this later. That's really dope. A magazine. And then they sent a shopping guide. And I also have a Ethic headset in here in blue. This is like the new headset. So this is all the new parts I got for Christmas. All the other parts, I'm just going to use my old parts for my new scooter because like my old parts really aren't that bad. And I did paint my deck, so I'm going to show you guys that now. So this is how my deck turned out. It's like this blue green color. It's super crazy. It's like a blue green purple. I really fuck with it. It's like super dark. It almost looks black like in dark lighting too. But I got to pick the grip tape I want to use for it. So got to go up here. I got a couple sheets of grip tape up here. I got the Brian Noyes Hella Grip. I got, I forget which Hella Grip this one's called, but this one's super fire. The checkers with the fire. This would go hard on the scoop, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I got this sheet of Hella Grip as well. This one's super hard. I forget what it's called, but 
green and yellow super fire got this sheet of hologrip as well and i got the blue ice box i think i'm gonna go with the blue ice box because then it'll just match the best with these blue wheels and the blue grips yeah i think that's what we're gonna do blue ice box because then we're gonna have the blue grips as well so it'll just all go together well so right now i'm about to just grip my deck so let's do that All right, so the grip tape is complete. As you guys can see, it turned out pretty good. I did not want to do the full deck though, so I just decided to keep this part just like the deck showing in the front. But other than that, it turned out pretty good. I'm about to go out to the garage right now. I'm about to grab my bars and my fork and my clamp, and that's all I need. And then my scooter is ready to be built together. So I just got back from cutting down my bars. I cut them down to 21 wide and I did put the new grips on them. This is what my bars are looking like. They look so good. I do want the new white prime bars though instead of the red ones, but I couldn't get them for this custom build. So these red ones will have to do. They're still in good condition anyways, but I got the blue ethic slim grips on them. And then I got the ethic headset. As you guys can see, I got the prey sten mag ses this ses is so fire definitely the best ses i'm actually going to be riding it too on this scooter super excited this is going to be like this is probably like one of my favorite scooters i haven't even built it yet i got the ethic legion 12 standard fork i got the ethic in cube wheels super good wheels and then i got the ethic v2 fender this fender is super good i just got it like one or two days ago but that's pretty much all the parts I have, and I have the Ethic deck. You guys already know that, but that's pretty much all the parts. I'm about to set my phone up on the tripod over there and start building up the scooter. So I just got done building my scooter. It looks so good. Honestly, I give it a solid 10 out of 10. It's definitely my favorite scooter I've had. As you guys can see, it looks super good. But right now I'm about to clean up my room because it's so messy. As you guys can see, I just got stuff literally everywhere. I got the boxes from the scooter parts. I got to set up this TV still. I got this tripod in the way. Oh yeah, I want to show you guys these Jinkos peep these aliexpress jinkos literally got these for 20 bucks off the aliexpress you guys literally can't beat that but i'm about to clean up my room really quick i'll catch you guys once my room's cleaned up and then i'm gonna go outside give you guys a drop test show you if the scooter's dialed so i just like picked up my room set up my new tv it looks super nice i actually really like how it turned out i do gotta peel this off really quick this is so satisfying so whoa don't want to tip the tv over doing this one-handed it's a lot stickier than i thought all right now that that's off take this throw that in the garbage but the new TV looks sick. As you can see, I got one of my videos playing on the TV right now. I really like how it looks. It fits the room really nice. My room's all cleaned up, as you can see. So I'm going to go outside right now, show you guys my new scooter, give you guys a rundown of all the parts, give you guys a little drop test to show you if it's styled or not. So I'll catch you guys once I'm outside. All right, so I'm outside now. I wanted to show you guys what the scooter looked like in the light. It looks so good. This is definitely my favorite scooter I've ever had. I rated a solid 10 out of 10. I'm gonna give you guys a rundown of the parts really quick. So first, we got the Ethic Slim Grips in black and blue. And then I got the Prime T-Bars, 21 wide, and then I'm not sure how tall they are. And then I got the uh, Prey SES. I love this SES, it's so fire. I got the new Ethic headset in blue to match the wheels. And then I got the Ethic deck, it's the Limworm. It's 6'3 by 23 and a half long. I love this deck, super good deck. And I love how this paint job turned out. It's like blue, purple, and like greenish. It's super fire. And then like it also looks black from far away almost. It's super fire. 
And then I got the Ethic Legion fork, the 12 standard fork. And then I got the Ethic in-cube wheels. I love these wheels, super fire. I've had like a bunch of the red ones, so I wanted to get the blue to switch it up. And then last but not least, we got the blue Heligrip. I love Heligrip, super good. And then we got the Ethic Fender, super fire scooter. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this scooter. It's definitely my favorite scooter I've ever had. I can't wait to go ride it. It's actually super nice out today for Michigan. It's 50 degrees in December. It's Christmas Eve today. It's like 50 degrees. You guys see I'm out in a t-shirt. I'm not even cold right now. Like if it wasn't wet out, as you guys could see, I would literally go to the skate park right now and ride for like an hour or two because this scooter is just so fire and I want to ride it. But if it dries up in like an hour or two, I'm probably going to go ride. So I'll update you guys if it dries or not i almost forgot to give you guys a drop test it's not completely dialed but it's pretty good for it being a used deck the back wheel just won't tighten up all the way so this is honestly the best it's gonna get i think it's pretty good though it's solid i love this scooter so much uh, you gotta get high like this so I just pulled up to my local skate park and sadly it's too wet to ride as you guys can see. The cement's all wet. It's been like misting all day I guess. It's not even like cold out though so it doesn't make sense why it's not drying up. Like I would ride this flat bar because it's like starting to dry up around it but you can see there's water all on the flat bar. I just don't want to get my new scooter all wet. I got brand new wheels, brand new grip tape. I just don't want to ruin my grip tape, ruin my wheels you know. If I didn't have a brand new scooter i honestly would probably ride the flat bar for a little bit and just be like oh well it's a little wet just because it's so nice out but i'm not gonna ride today i think i'm just gonna go back home but thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys drop a like on it comment down below and subscribe if you're new i hope you guys all have a great christmas and peace